Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is a short video on what is new with Start Descent version 2. This is a free app that I created and it will help you determine when to start your descent. Start Descent is available at xplane.org and there is a link in the description below if you would like to download it. If you've not watched the first video on version 1, I suggest you watch that first so you can see what Start Descent is like in action. And there is a link to that video as well. Now nothing new has changed as far as how Start Descent works. Both versions use the same formulas to determining when to start your descent. What is new in version 2 is you can change all the labels into your own language. So you can change all of these here. And let me show you how you do that. So let's restart the program so you can see what it looks like when you first get it and unzip it. When you first start Start Descent version 2, you will notice that there are no labels. This is no labels. Go to File Setup. So we want to go to File, Setup. And here you can see all the default languages in English here. And it says click this button to create labels. So I'm going to click that and that's going to write all the default labels into these edit boxes over here. Then we click write label changes to disk. And once we do that, we see that we have the labels here. Notice that when to start descent is off to the side. So what we're going to do is restart it and everything will be where it ought to be. So let's go ahead and do that. Looks a little better. And let's see how I did that. Let's go back to File Setup. And notice I just added some spaces here where it said when to start descent for our default. And so that's going to position it right where it needs to be. So now you want to change your language or do whatever you want. So you can put anything you want here. You could just change this to, let's just go to move that over a little bit. A R start E E S E E N T start descent. Okay, we write labels and we can exit out of this. We can close the program and restart it. And you see now we have a new heading. So you can change all the labels. We're just going to go to setup and then write in whatever you want. One change you should be aware of in version 2 is that it will write files to your hard drive. So after we went into setup and we created our labels, we ended up creating all these files that contain the labels that you just created. And this will happen whether you use the default version or you create your own labels. You will create these files when you use version 2. So if you don't like the idea of having files written to your computer for some reason, then stick with version 1. It does nothing but math. It will not write files to your hard drive. So that's all there is new in Start Descent. One thing I suggest you do if you do use this program and you want to change the labels to your own language, I would go up here, create a new folder, call it whatever you want, and then I would copy all these files and I would paste them in this new folder. That way if something goes wrong or you lose your labels you don't have to go in there and type them all in again. You can just go to the folder, copy and paste them back into your original Start Descent folder. Now do not change the names of these files. The program will not work properly. Your labels will not show up. So that's it for Start Descent version 2. Now be sure to read the installation instructions or the Read Me First file. That will help you a lot in getting it installed correctly. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please click the Like button. If you would like to leave a comment or send me a message, that would be great. Go to xplane.org and download this little app. Thanks so much for watching, and God bless.